Hi Capricorn, right here. Gonna do a reading for you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Narai and I go by Nay. I'm gonna do a reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South node. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest. I will be putting up videos based on the elements. So, let's get started. I don't know what's coming. I don't have a particular question. Maybe I should do what to look out for. We'll see what comes out. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please and thank you. Mm. All right. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please and thank you, Spirit. Let's see what comes out. First card is the Three of Cups in Reverse. I feel like some of you might be isolating or some of you may be having conflict in relationships like friendships. I also feel like some of you are not celebrating something that you more th that you would normally actually celebrate. I have a feeling, a feeling, excuse me. I have the two of pentacles here. This is you guys having a decision to make, um, possibly. This is also in regards to finding balance in your life and prioritizing, figure out, figuring out what, you, what is going to be more of a priority for you. And I, because of the fact that I'm having problems getting the words out, I feel like for some of you, there may be an issue with communication and that's why um, there may be an issue with some friendships that you have. I also have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles can be um, a gift. This could be some sort of gift or something tangible. This could also be a, a job offer or a raise. And then I have the Seven, the Seven, sorry. And then I have the Chariot. And this is something or someone coming in fast, but this is also two opposing forces working towards a common goal. This has to do with having willpower also. <laughs> I said the seven. You may get a message. I have the Page of Cups. You may get some sort of emotional me message from someone. This could also be someone who really is not comfortable talking about their feelings. It could be a younger person. It could be an emotionally immature person too. It doesn't have to be. But what it makes me think of because I pulled the Two of Cups, is somebody that has less relationship experience than you do. But with the Two of Cups, this is an equal give and take. This is a partnership. This is a mutual attraction. Hopefully it's phys not just physical, but it's emo uh, mental, like mentally attracted to somebody because they mentally stimulate you. 
And then I have the Nine of Swords. This is somebody having sleepless nights. Nightmares, anxiety. I feel like for some of you, you may end up getting with someone. And because of the fact that they're not emotionally where you are, because it's new territory for them, this, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting somebody that normally would just want to play and not be serious. All of a sudden, realizing that they really care for somebody or realizing that they really don't want to be alone and it's time to just like get their shit together and it's time to hunker down. But there's fear and there's fear because they feel that getting in a situation, getting in a relationship and being committed to one person they're going to feel smothered and they're going to feel like they're losing their freedom. Nobody owns anybody. This person is almost going to feel like they're owned. I feel like this is going to require patience. Mm. I feel like this person wants, it's like somebody wants to come in fast with the Knight of Swords. It's a very intellectual person. And they need to do a little more self-work with the Eight of Pentacles. It's like this person has to master themselves. And they have to master themselves because they're used to being in, in relationships um, where it's not an equal give and take. It's like a person that's been hurt because of the fact, and this could actually be you, A person hurt because they've been in situations where they've done all the giving. And Capricorn, this could be you because you're so used to being by yourself now. It's like you're starting over. It's like you kind of went back, back in time, and you're going to have to learn how to give because you've gotten so used to being by yourself. And for some of you, you're going to have to learn how to hold back so that you don't overgive in a relationship. And you're going to have to have boundaries and you're going to have to slow down. Because with this card, I always say it's somebody moving fast. You're going to have to move slow. You're going to have to move slow. Mm. This could be a message from someone. You're going to have to move slow. You're going to have to make sure that all of your time is not available for somebody new. Patience. Move slow. The Knight of Pentacles. The reason I say this, and it's funny that this came out because I have a friend. I've never met him in person. His name is Kevin. He'll, he won't mind. He's in New York. And we have been friends since 2008 or 2007. I think we may have seen each other on video once like talking 
at like really talking once or twice. The rest of the time we've done like Marco Polo conversations, I believe. I don't remember. Anyway, we were having a conversation about relationships. Men don't develop feelings as quickly as women do. And as women, I'm going to, as a woman, I'm going to say this. Don't be so quick to sleep with somebody because what happens is we were talking about post nut and what that means is a guy is all for you and hype and excited and pursuing you and wooing you and doing all kinds of things because he's imagining how it is to have sex with you and how it's going to feel. And then when you sleep with him too fast and that desire is not there anymore, women get mad at the man. He has no control over that. It's a natural thing. And this is what happens when you do not give a person time to actually get to know you. Too many times women move fast and then develop these feelings for guys and the guys don't have feelings because they don't even know if they like you yet. And this is about you taking your time and being patient, especially if you're a woman. And fellas, I'm going to say there's probably women like this too. There are women that can actually have sex with the dudes and not feel crap. I'm just saying. Um, but females, I'm going to recommend not rushing into anything when you meet someone like take the time to get to know people, ask the important questions. There are questions you need to know about somebody when you meet them and get to be friends with people. Don't meet somebody and think, Ooh, this is the person I'm going to marry because I see it a lot in the comments. People meet people and it's automatically turning into something. Yet you have these friends that have been around for 10 and 15 years, listening to all your boo hoos and woes over other dudes or guys, female friends, listening to all your boo hoos over other girls, ladies, and they're just there being this friend when it comes to a relationship we should actually be friends with the person that we're with it's really got me thinking about wanting to meet somebody new like as a capricorn yes i want to meet somebody new it's just easier starting over with somebody but it's time consuming starting over with somebody too because you have to develop a friendship you have to learn the things about them. You have to not tell them everything you're looking for, ladies, because you'd be giving men ammunition to use against you and um, material so that they can manipulate you. You have to like really, really think and take your time and know that just because there's an attraction and you're talking to somebody does not make them a potential mate. Some people are trying to make every single person they talk to a potential partner. Why? Ooh, excuse me. Had to knock my desk over. Talking about relationship shit. The Hierophant. Y'all be trying to marry everybody that come into y'all's way. Stop it. Everybody is not marriage material. Everybody's not screwable and everybody is not dating material. Y'all, some of y'all are trying to turn every single person that you meet into a husband or a wife and you need to stop. Oh God. See, this is, this is a marriage. These are two marriage cards. The four of wands is marriage coming together, celebrating. This is also stability in the higher front. This can be a marriage card too. Y'all be really trying to make people your husbands and your wives when you meet them instead of living your life and making this person 
working this person into your schedule, all of a sudden you meet somebody and lo and behold, you're in the comments telling me you met someone. And I'm not criticizing anyone, I'm just trying to get you to think because I've been there. And I may actually still do this when I go out and date and I'm gonna check myself and I'm gonna pinch my own ass and I'm gonna snap out of it because that's where we mess up. Ooh. You have to do things different if you want different results. Here's the world card. This is closing out cycles. You have to do things differently. You have to walk down a new path. And for some of you, you could always be talking to people at a distance and you need to stop and you need to start talking to people locally. But you need to restrain yourself and make sure that when you're talking to somebody locally, that you're not with them every day. Y'all aren't up under each other, smothering each other. That you're not on the phone all the time. Like, talk on the phone. Give yourself a time frame. Like, talk on the phone for 30, 40 minutes. And then get off and do what you have to do. Because your life doesn't go get put on hold because you meet somebody. I'm just saying... You have to invest in yourself. Some of you guys are so willing to invest in other people, but you're not even investing in yourselves. You have to know that a relationship takes time. Some of you guys are meeting somebody and thinking it's something serious already when the guy doesn't even freaking know if he likes your ass. I'm being blunt, I'm sorry. Call me Aunt Bertha today because this is like real life stuff. Relationships take time. You have to plant the seed. It means you have to meet somebody. You have to have a strong foundation, which means you have to be friends, have open and honest communication. You have to have boundaries and you have to ask questions and know things. Some, some, of, some people get in relationships, don't even ask people questions. And y'all are dealing with People that do all kinds of crap behind your back and you don't even know because you never ask questions. Mm. Where'd it go? Yeah. Some of y'all are getting involved. You want to make sure you're not getting involved with somebody who doesn't even have a leg to stand on and a pot to piss in, okay? You're getting with somebody that's not reliable, not dependable. Because they look good. And then what ends up happening to you? You get in that five of pentacles energy where you're feeling left out in the cold because this person that you rush into things with they don't even know if they like you. You're not dating anyone else. And this person's got five people they're talking to. Because they're trying to figure out who they like. This is why I have issues with people rushing into relationships. And I've been talking. I've spoken on many videos about like taking your time. It's for a reason. I've screwed up a lot in relationships. I've screwed up a lot in relationships. And some of y'all, I'm looking at the photo of the picture. Some of y'all are given, <laughs> some of y'all, some of y'all, why am I saying some of y'all? It's coming out that way. Like some of y'all have sex with people and you don't even know where the freak they live. I was watching something on YouTube and this lady was talking about when you, when you go on a date with a dude, make it early in the day. Don't let it be any more than two hours. I think some people be, 
some people hang out and go on dates and hang out for two and three, four, five, six, seven hours, make it a whole day. And then all of a sudden they're in love and, and they're having sex. It's no bueno, baby. It's no bueno. You have to take care of you and know that people, people will get what they can from you if you allow it. But you have to hold yourself to a higher standard. So that you're not in this energy where you're lied to and tricked and then in your head like, like, damn, why did I do that? That was so stupid. Like you're not having regrets. And you're not in conflict with yourself about how you feel. So don't be impulsive like the Knight of Wands. Keep it in your pants. Actually take the time to get to know people. You're, when, you get, when you meet people, your goal doesn't need to be marriage because then you, you skip everything. You need to have a list, a list. Meet someone, get to know them and ask the important questions. Spend a limited amount of time with that person. And then if it turns into something, it turns into something. But I feel like a lot of people, especially since I pull these two cards together, I feel like a lot of people are getting into relationships with just anybody that they think is cute. Mm -mm. Be passionate. It's okay to be passionate, but you don't have to jump at everything. Oh, excuse me. And it's okay to go into hermit mode, even when you're interested in somebody. Some of you still need to look at yourselves. Ooh, was that the magician card? Yeah, it's a magician card. Ooh, it's the magician card because you have the tools, or somebody is trying to manifest you, but you have the tools. But you guys might need to write down what it is that you want in a relationship and be, br be uh, brutally honest and don't allow the red flags to be excused after so many red flags it just needs to be done and over with and i have the lover's card this is you guys having to make a major choice some of you guys need to learn how to put yourselves first. But this is learning how to make a major choice. Um, this is also the lover's card. Very passionate. For some of you, it's just going to be lustful. It doesn't mean it's going to go into marriage. If you... Things turn out the way that they do based on our, based on us, based on how we approach things, based on the boundaries we do or do not set, and based on what we allow to happen to us. This is about you guys taking responsibility for relationships or connections that you're making and knowing that every connection does not necessarily have to end up in romance and that you need to take your time because too many people are too busy out there having these soul ties and as it was stated today a lot of women end up letting these guys leave pieces of themselves in them so you don't need so many soul ties. 
people can say the body count doesn't matter. The body count does matter because men leave, if, if you're not protected every single time you have sex, every different person you're having sex, sex with, ladies, is leaving a piece of their DNA in you. Some of you are still going through a rebirth or you're going to get involved with somebody that is going to force you to go into a rebirth. If you don't be mindful and take your time, you're going to end up in a situation where somebody's going to force you to go into a rebirth because you're going to move too fast and then you're going to feel like you're in love, ladies, and then this person's going to be like, I don't even know if I like you. I don't think nobody's, I really don't think a lot of people are going to like this reading and that's okay. So you're going to have, oh my God, <laughs> I cannot even make this shit up. I was just about to delete, you know, I was thinking maybe I need to delete this video, but after I'm just pulling right now, a hell to the no. You men and women, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to make a decision when you meet people whether to let it, whether to handle things the way you have in the past or handle them differently. Why is that, Narai? Why do you keep telling us what to do? Your ass is single. I know I'm single. I'm single by choice. And I want a little more of my me time, you know, my peace of mind. But when I do meet somebody, I'm going to take my time as I hope you will Capricorn because you're going to have to decide, handle things the way you used to and get this energy, toxic energy that you're used to. Don't tell me you're not used to it. Yes, you are because you wouldn't be watching this shit. If you had wonderful relationships, you wouldn't be watching this. And let me correct myself because I know some of you are watching my, my channel and you are in a healthier relationship, but you've been through things in the past and I thank you for your support. But this is toxic energy here. You guys want to be sure that you don't amend this is this goes for the men too because there are some toxic ladies out there i'm not even trying to say we're not we don't have toxic women on our side we have toxic women that exist and we have toxic toxic women that are capricorn i can't even get the shit out my mouth capricorn regarding the devil energy the devil card it's also about you not being obsessive um, not overly giving not being codependent um, not being obs I think I said obsessive already, but in regard the, in regards to the devil card, it's about us also as Capricorns, um, because you have to, you have to check yourself. You have to make sure you're not ignoring the red flags for the sake of being with someone. Um, if stuff does happen to make you uncomfortable, uncomfortable, you have to ask yourself what it was and why. If you're jealous of this person or all of a sudden becoming obsessed, you have to look at yourself and ask yourself, Capricorn, why are you feeling this way? Is it something this person is doing that's making you jealous or is it something within you that you still need to work on? This is also knowing not to put yourself on the back burner and um, this is you not disregarding your own rules and boundaries for somebody else. A person can see that as a sign of, uh, a sign of you not respecting yourself and then they're going to think, well, why should I? So it's just something for you to think about. I feel like for a lot of you, when it comes down to it, you're going to realize it's just lust. It's just lust. 
It's about you being really broody, brutally honest with yourself. I can't even get the words out. But it's about being brutally honest with yourselves. But you're going to have to decide when you meet somebody how you're going to handle things. And you're going to be between a rock and a hard place because you're going to want to move fast and handle things the way you used to, which will get you some more of this. Or you can handle things slowly and differently and make sure to build a friendship with this person and get to know this person and ask questions. Some of you might even look this person up online to make sure they don't even have a record. But you can ask the person if they have a record because guess what? Some people are going to be honest and tell you yes. I've met guys that have told me they had records from the jump. But you being between a rock and a hard place is you deciding whether you're going to do what you've always done and get the resort results you've always gotten. Because you can't outsmart the universe or God or spirit or move slowly and find your wish fulfillment and the reason you find your wish fulfillment is because you end up standing in your truth and you're honest but you're also being patient so I don't know how this reading is going to go I don't know what the numbers are going to look like but I feel like I need to post it anyway but in the talk that I had today, it was really, I think maybe he and I were on the phone for like an hour and a half max. I don't know, but it was a lot. I really feel like we should have a podcast, to be honest with you. I can give relationship advice to anybody. I just don't know what to do when it's me, but I'm working on that not happening anymore. So, I'm human. I'm a tarot reader, and I'm human. And I still have things that I need to work on. And I still have my struggles too. But in regards to this reading, it's pretty much what I was saying to him earlier today. You want to take your time so that you're not manipulated. You want to have standards so that you're not manipulated. And you want to, when you go out, ladies, with a guy... What did the lady say? Eat before you go out to eat. That way you can actually have a conversation and not be focused on your food. Um, but guys, I would say for the men out there, you will have women that will feel like you're not attracted to them when you don't make a move on them because they're so used to being treated like objects. They're so used to being with guys that want to have sex with them as soon as they get together. And you can tell a woman, no, I really want to get to know you. And if you're a guy that's had experiences with women where it seems like you sleep with them and then they're off to somebody else, Women can act just like guys can. I just think it's easier for a guy to be involved with something and not develop feelings early, but there are women that are, I feel are capable to, to do the same. Um, so I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you for liking my video. Please share and subscribe if you feel called to. And until next time, Capricorn, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves and know your worth. Bye.